Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Sprint. So in this session, we shall discuss the part two of cell structure. So in the first part of cell structure, we have discussed about the terminology related to cell. So what are the various components of a cell? Now we shall see the types of cells. So cells are categorized on basically on two categories. The first is number of cells. The second is whether nucleus is present or not. So if, if there is only single cell, they, those organisms are called as unicellular organisms. If there is more than one cell in an organism, if they are called multicellular organisms. Generally unicellular organisms we have like uh, amoeba, all these are examples, paramecium. Animals are very best examples for multicellular organisms. Okay, Pro prokaryotes doesn't have nucleus in them and eukaryotes have nucleus in them so based on nucleus whether it is present or not so there is a separate classification now we shall have a detailed explanation about this the first is unicellular organisms as the name says unicellular means only single cell is present all the life activities are performed by the single cell only okay that's why their lifespan is very short Okay, the very best examples are bacteria, archaea, protozoa, unicellular algae and unicellular fungi also. We have multicellular algae and multicellular fungi also. But only unicellular algae and unicellular fungi are the very best examples. You can see the diagram amoeba, paramecium, bacteria, yeast. Suppose if we take the amoeba, it has only single cell. How does it uh, take food? Suppose there is food here it uses false feet to capture this food and gets back the foods into the vacuoles so it stores the food into the vacuoles okay so this is called the false feet temporarily it will use the false feet and gets back the food and keeps it in the vacuoles okay, the very best example of unicellular organism is amoeba next is paramecium bacteria yeast all these are unicellular org organisms Next, multicellular organisms. So they have more than one cell. All life activities are performed by various different cells, not like uh, unicellular organisms. Next, lifespan is large. Plants, animals, multicellular algae and multicellular fungi are the very best example. So this is one type of classification. Now we shall see the another type of classification that is based on the presence of nucleus. So why they are called prokaryotes? So they derive their name from the two Greek words pro means before and carrion means kernel or nucleus. So pro means it doesn't have any nucleus or organelles. So that's why prokaryotes doesn't have nucleus. They don't have nucleus. They are single celled always. Most of them are single cell organisms or unicellular organisms. So very best examples are archaea, bacteria and photosynthetic blue-green algae it is also called as cyanobacteria which can prepare its own food. Blue-green algae is also called as cyanobacteria which we see in ponds. The topmost layer sometimes it has a green color layer right. So that is called the blue-green algae. It's also called cyanobacteria. Next is eukaryotes. So eukaryotes, their name is derived from two Greek words. Eu means good and carrion means nucleus. So that means they have nucleus. It has nucleus. Hence they have nucleus and membrane bound organelles or different parts in the cell. All plants, fungi such as molds, yeast and mushrooms, protozoa like we have mosquito. Uh, the scientific name is Plasmodium falciparum, right? And also animals have nucleus, which are called as eukaryotes. Okay. Next, we shall see the comparison between eukaryotic cell and prokaryotic cell. So, eukaryotic means it doesn't have nucleus. Eukaryotic means it has nucleus, and prokaryotic means it doesn't have nucleus so ribosomes are present in both nucleus is not present in prokaryotic we have already seen it is present in eukaryotic golgi bodies which help the movement of materials within the cell is not present in prokaryotic because it has only one single cell and it has no nucleus but it is present in eukaryotic mitochondria is not present in prokaryotic and it is present in eukaryotic this is a very repeated question and the flagella present in both okay and cell membrane is present in both centrioles are present only in eukaryotic but not in 
prokaryotic endoplasmic reticulum which helps the movement of materials outside the cell is not present in prokaryotic and present in eukaryotic and peroxisome generally they are helpful for the uh, uh, breaking down of the food it is not present in prokaryotic but it is present in eukaryotic cell wall is present in prokaryotic but not in eukaryotic because generally animals we are involved mostly in eukaryotic cells okay so unicellular organisms are generally blue green bacteria amoeba all these are unicellular organisms and eukaryotic are multicellular organisms they also involve single celled organisms also eukaryotic cells so this is all for this session in this topic of cell structure we shall meet in the next sessions thank you so much